Greetings. We had something a little different today. Um, if you were watching me earlier, this is moments later after I broke that carburetor on that, uh, yeah, power washer. Anyway, so we have a um, power jack, a uh, direct current par power jack for a laptop. And uh, yeah, these things, they do fail. You can see that there. It looks like a cavity, doesn't it? Looks like this friend of ours had a few too many sweet tooths, and sooner or later, they became summer teeth. Now they're all kind of missing, right? So we have ourselves a little missed situation right here that we need to fix. So what goes in there? This. Like that. Yeah, I swear it does. Right? And uh, it's supposed to stay there. Now I got it plugged in. Okay? And it does this. Oh, look at that screen. Yeah, that's that's clean. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nothing. Right? Because the entire housing unit around the uh, power adapter is not really functional. It doesn't grab anything anymore. It's nothing to hold on to. So, what we're going to do today, we got to take this, tear it apart, and uh, get the part number, and uh, go ahead and order it. It's a cheap repair, so it should be a lot of fun. A little different. A lot of just pulling things apart and putting screws away. All right, let's 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 do it. All right, first thing we want to do is uh, take some screws off the back. We get this hard drive out. Um, I'm gonna need some specialty tools here. That looks like a good idea. Some tweezers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, obviously. Uh, Kit for small screws. All right. Um, these are all Phillips. Lots of them. Uh, I'm gonna try. Uh, let's do uh, P P1 PH1. Yeah. So that works or not. I also have my uh, magnetic tool with me. <laughs> At least I had it with me. That'll help a lot with getting these out of position. If they don't want to come. Anybody gonna go see uh, the new uh, End Game movie? What do you call it? Uh, with the good old Captain America Marvel Universe kind of movie. You know what I'm talking about? I know some of you are gonna go. Yeah, these are a little longer. Um, let's take a look at this. A longer, longer screws. Captain America, Ant-Man, who else is in that movie? I didn't even name the, I didn't even name the movie. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Endgame is the uh, is a subtitle. Looking forward to it. I think it's released in a, a week from now. So, be a good one. Some of you will probably take your... Uh, Bursting at the seam cosplay wife to watch this wonderful movie, aren't you? Yeah, maybe she just has an affinity for uh, all these wonderful butt kicking. Sci fi movies, yeah. If you're that lucky guy, I. I wish I was you. I wish I was you. 
Well, I've had to stomach through many a several hours of uh, chick flicks. <sighs> All in the name of maintaining harmony. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, sometimes I ended up peeing pretty good. You know? Like water for chocolate's pretty good. I like that one a lot. Oh, that's so effective. I love it. Come on. Come on. Alright, that's... That did work for you. Probably didn't work because it's still screwed in. Yeah. Should have worked for that one. Okay. Dude, the dust cloud. <laughs> Someone really cares about this laptop. Okay. I'm gonna pull out the DVD multi drive. Uh, gonna unscrew that. Hear that sound? Whenever I hear the car alarm goes over, that I always like to say, hey, your boyfriend's coming. With a girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really small screw. I mean, you can see that. Yeah. Holy little. Super small. Okay, and that should give me the ability to push this out. Yeah. There you go. That's out. Um, you know, we all have little guilty pleasures in life. That. Oh, I love that thing. It's so good. Peanuts and caramel. Anyway, I'm going to try to eat that before my low blood sugar kicks in and I turn hangry. You know what I'm saying? I got this little plastic bag here. So I know for sure there's going to be some turnaround time when I order the part and actually get it and continue this project. But it'll seem seamless to you. Like a blink of an eye, if everything goes well. So let's keep that with that. Um, so I have to separate the keyboard from the motherboard because I need to get the motherboard away so I can get to the actual power supply on this side. Yeah. There's four screws right there. Three screws, actually. Two screws. Don't screw me over, screw me. So I can't believe I... These are the small ones, by the way. Couldn't believe I... Uh, couldn't remember the... Uh, Comic book movie name, at least the main name. It's Avengers. Yeah, I had to look it up. Pretty lame, right? Yep, Avengers. Some of you are gonna go see it. I know it. Well, Avengers. Feeling so much better. Just finished my guilty pleasures in life. Yeah, not all of them, just one. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I have to separate this keyboard. And I'm not sure where to push to get it out. You see. Ah, 
right there. There's a screw right here. That friend of ours, more of our enemy. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about it. want to talk about it. Okay, so that's what was holding it in place. Um, again, you have like these tabs here, but uh, the, 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 real, the real solution was uh, getting that screw right here out. This one. The one with the keyboard next to it? <laughs> yeah, that one. Alright, gosh. Gotta upgrade my pry tool though. Snap-a-roo. Alright, so it looks here like we have a, just a keyboard. Does that slide in? Yeah, it slides in. Okay, so... Hmm. I literally think that just fell off of that. Hmm. I think. Or did I just break it? No, it's no way I could have just broken that. No way. Come on. I just break it. Oh. We'll find out, won't we? Let's see. Oh, oh well. We'll take a look at this keyboard anyway. Try to order another one. It looks like that would just slide on to that. Right. So that once I pull these off. Um, put that away. Do these just slide out? Slides right out. Is that right? I do not know. If that just slides right out, then I'm absolutely fucking this thing up. Oops, I just cursed, didn't I? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think? to get I thought this would just slide right off like one big piece yeah So I suck. These are tabs that flip up like that. They flip up. So I, actually, I did break that one off. Ugh. Up. And this goes up. 
And then that should work like that. All right, see, it's got to do a little reading. So anyway, I suck. So uh, it looks like, oops, uh, can you see that? Go a little closer look. Okay, so these are tabs. These are like up and down like that that clamp onto the wire. Okay, so you gotta lift them up, push down. I broke this one off. Brilliant. Yep. Okay. So we are good with that. Wish I'd broken the wire on the uh, keyboard, but oh well. My problem is, I don't even know if this is even worth proceeding with because. Will it stay? That's the problem. You know? Can that wire stay without? Because it needs to push down on that. you do? Test it. Right, keyboard. So you put this back like this. These wires go into here like that. Yeah, no. All right, so it looks like I just totally destroyed this computer. Yeah. I was supposed to lift that up and clamp it down. And now I have destroyed the motherboard. Ugh. Yeah, because the keyboard won't stay. All righty. Good job. All right, well, might as well proceed. Let's continue what we're doing anyway. Let's see what we end up with. No, I'm not bummed. Nope, not at all. Mm -mm. Not one bit. What I do need to do is back up some though. Okay. So what's our life lesson here? Computers are very different from cars. Don't pull that hard. Yeah, I think so. It's a good life lesson. eBay, someone's got this. little friend we have there. Okay. Right. Oh. <laughs> I bet you there's a screw right here. Right there where it says Lenovo. And I have a feeling that's the warranty. Uh, it's, it's obviously a high security. It's just a circle with Lenovo brand right on. Some, some Chinese. 
Yeah, let's tell her what that is. No worries. I'm sure nobody can replicate that and put it back on there. Okay. Interesting. All right, so this is a little bit on the medium size. It's a medium compared to the others. Should be separated. Yeah, all right, there's one more right here. Just to go light, be careful, people. Like that. I like, oops, shoot. Be very careful. All right, so we have that, that, and that. Okay, that's good. All right. Like I said, I wish it wasn't a motherboard. Anyway, we are interested in that right here. At least what's left of it. Yeah. So. You see that? Yeah. Take a closer look. That is what we want. This is not right anymore. So, let's get that tape out of the way. That goes to the so you can make sure you can see that dumps power to the battery. Looks like it's just a plug. What are you thinking? Just, just pull it out, right? Yeah, it's totally a plug. Okay, that's what we want. We need to replace that. So the manufacturer did some really cool stuff with the uh, motherboard. Um, I'm gonna probably have to replace the motherboard to do this properly. I broke the uh, keyboard tab, so it, it won't stay. Um, this plastic cover, uh, you can back it out some so you can see. Okay. There's a plastic cover over this motherboard. And what that does, when you sp people spill stuff through the keyboard all the time, it's ruin, ruin, ruin their computers, you know? But this gives you a fighting chance if you can like, unplug it and take the battery out as quickly as possible when you um, spill something. But you can save the motherboard and keep it from, like, uh, you know, overheating. Um, what I want to do, I want to get a number for the motherboard. And I see it. Uh, let me get too close. I see it right around here. Right, and it's uh, it says Handstar J M V. Let me, let me pull it up too too much. I mean, not to say it matters at this point. But. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So that's the motherboard information right there. And that is, uh, I'm gonna use that to try to get a new motherboard for this. Let's see how cheap we can get one off of eBay. Handstar JMV-494. V-0. E. Eight nine three eight two. All right, and uh, it's made in China. Can't see what this information is right here. Okay, all right, 
I guess once I start to lug around on the internet, I'll be able to figure it out. Uh, right. uh, that number is 48.4 V V zero one zero one one. All right. Well, next time I pick up this video, hopefully we'll have we will have a solution for our problem. Yeah, the keyboard right here has a tab that broke off. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get this whole motherboard right here and replace that. Um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I think I'm gonna have to replace this entire. Um, Mother, uh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. This whole piece hardware, piece of hardware right here, just because the keyboard part is broken off, and uh, yeah, and I was saying I was complimenting them on their uh, tactic to help laptops survive. I put in this plastic coating on top. It's pretty smart. I like it. So I decided to, you know, after I pulled it apart, put the keyboard top switch back on just to connect to this power here. I wanted to see, because this fits really well, right? And makes me believe something else is happening. So what I did, I kind of put it back together partially. Okay. I'm going to plug it in. Let's see what happens. That's a good sign. Okay. So try to turn on. Sure does. All right. This thing. Can you see that? It has power. All right. Oops. All right. Okay. We have other issues. Feels like me. It's my psychological profile right here. All right. Um, okay. Different game plan. That's not broken. It's the thing that holds that forwards that's broken. Okay, but I did break the motherboard and the keyboard. We needed to replace the keyboard anyway. We knew that. Motherboard, I don't think it should be a lot of money for that. Okay, cool. So I gotta look a little deeper at this and see what's missing over here. Um, I have a weird feeling it is, it's not, okay. What I think is happening is, is uh, that's fine, but it's a thing around it that holds it in place, that allows you to slide in, that, that got loose. They might've been pushing on it too hard. All right. So we hope. So we got a motherboard, a keyboard, and whatever. If there's something else that needs to go in here to help it stay in place. Great. Moments later, <laughs> that's what it feels like to you. But not to me. All right. I took a photo of this motherboard and, um, That way we can kind of have an idea of where to place things. Uh, I see, this is the new motherboard. It's got a VGA out, USB here. And this looks like a, hmm, I don't know, ESAT. Uh, Has everything there? Power supply, our problem. Video, yeah. All right. So this motherboard looks exactly the same, and that's the tab. That's the part I broke off right there. Remember, it just flicks up and down. That's all. Good job. All right. Um, let's continue to pull some stuff off of this, shall we? I. Uh, 
just so you know, you should really discharge yourself. Uh, you know, touch some electric something. Just get your uh, self discharged. All right. How's everybody doing? I forgot to say hello. <laughs> I hope you're having a good time. Good time in life. You know what? I just see this is the issue, and uh, we need to find a way to make sure that that doesn't slide back. You know. All right, well, let's go ahead and pull that off. I'm gonna leave that there, and uh, I'll pull it off once I get the motherboard off. Okay, motherboard has another connector here. Again, flip that up. Oops. Pull that off. Okay. That goes out to a uh, another USB card right here. So it's under. Okay. Um, they have a video card here. Uh, let's see. How about this one? Let's take this one out. This looks like a low hanging fruit. At least so I think. Right? I hope. Ah, I hate that. I don't know what this is. Good yanking on stuff and breaking more things. Alright, so this looks like a plug that slides out. Yeah, okay. This is for, it looks like a Wi Fi card. No, it's not. This is a, uh, a audio card. Okay. Audio. Um, USB. We have. I'll pull that power supply off after. Look at what do we have here? We have ourselves a a tab. That looks like. That looks like a tab that goes up. Let's take a look at this. Board here. Yeah, so this just pushes down into that, looks like. I don't see anything in particular holding that. Looks like a downward push. So I should be able to just pull up. Yep, that's it. All right, nothing broken. So we have everything detached from the motherboard. No screws holding that there. We have one more screw right here. I think that's the only one left. It's holding the motherboard in place. Now we're gonna have to clean this computer a lot here. Let's put that in there with the other screws. I think that's it. What do you think? Think we got it? Yeah, we sure do. Okay. Oh, that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to pull on anything too hard. Oh, wait, we have another another plug right here. Looks like that just slides right off. Just slides right into there. There's something over here I don't know about. When in doubt, take your time. Right. Hmm. So this fan here, I wonder what holds this onto that. You know. Oh, okay. We have some, some tape here. I know some of you are like yelling at me. The tape! Don't forget the tape. All right. So the tape is off. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, there's another. I 
that I don't forget to put all these things back. I guess I'll know. I'll turn on a spinning beep. And there's another plug under. I gotta be careful. Okay. So this is a, an antenna. So that would be the Wi Fi card. Those are all the goodies right here. Um, so that sat in here like that. Yes, I think so. Right. I didn't pull on it hard. You saw that. That was really gentle. Oops. Okay, what does this plug into? What am I missing here? Is that going to that? Yes, that will go into that. Okay. So the back of this board has some fun stuff on here. We have to get all that stuff onto here. And you can't see both of them. All right, what I'm going to do now uh, is I got some, I get this Wi Fi card off of here. We have some memory. It needs to come. I'll keep this battery because I'm not sure what the state of affairs of this used motherboard is. All right, and uh, I'm going to clean this a, a whole lot.
So I'm using some screen cleaner. Um, the uh, cat, the laptop has a little camera right here. Don't forget that also. It's right in the middle. And um, yeah. I'm sure you can see that. That's just maybe over there. All right, I think we did a good job cleaning this so far. Yeah. Anyway, this is a microfiber um, cloth. Really important because it, it it does behave differently to dust. Um, it's best for cleaning. So I take a little microfiber with this. It helps get up all the stuff on the screen. And uh, yeah, dust is like the death of like a circuit board. I'll tell you why. Dust is highly conductive. So what will happen? Is uh, let's let's take a look at the uh, the motherboard here. When you let dust sit on a um, the motherboard, such as this, it will create a completed circuit. See this this entire layout has electrical um, electricity passing through it, and. Um, the some of these parts of the circuit will if there's dust on top of it it will complete a circuit and create a charge that goes across and it'll burn out the part of the motherboard right so the problem with that is that once that fails then this whole thing you know unless you have like small enough hard small enough hardware to like actually diagnose this and actually find all those small pieces and then if the motherboard is still intact you know then you'll be able to solve it resolve it but you know for most people you will not so you know i guess you know if you were traveling to space you know space has lots of dust so i can only imagine what will happen in mars when we land there at one point hopefully if everything goes well that's not going to be an easy situation because that dust will get everywhere all right so we cleaned it uh, we're going to try to go in the reverse order. Actually, before we do that, we have some stuff we have to pull off. We have to pull off the uh, the hardware that's on the um, old one and put it on a new motherboard. And then we have to make sure this part of the motherboard that's the original problem is going to be a little bit less likely to be a problem. There's still a part that's missing, but we'll do the best for now. Here's the other, here's the original problem with the motherboard. We have, just let you know for the orientation purpose, it's like that, just flipped over. I am, just with a power supply. Let's just put that in there. The original problem, right, is this needs to stay. And it's it had moved. Now it has a metal piece of metal that pushes against it like that, keeps it from sliding. Uh, let's get a closer look. See how close we can get before this gets blurry. Yeah. That's about, okay, that's, we're zoomed in optically 6.5 times. Sorry, I don't know, it's actually, yeah, it's an optical zoom at that point. Okay, so here we are, zoomed in optically at 6.5 times, and closeness, that is, anyway. See this tab right here? That tab bumps up against this and stops it from sliding. So, so we need to make sure right, that whatever we do, oh, you know, I need to look at this because this has a lower side and a higher side. Yeah. Um, let's see what makes sense. Felt good low, so I'm gonna go with that. I can also see looking through. Yeah, that's lined up. 
All right. Oh boy, I just moved it. Okay, so that's good. Again, this has to go like that. So we have to try to find a way to push that in. So when you put the, uh, the pr when it feels the pressure from the um, plug, adapting the power adapter going in, it doesn't slide out. Hmm. Think about that for a second. Uh, all right, so let's, I'm going to think about it, and we'll continue. Did you see any of that? Yeah. Okay. I want to show you a little better uh, description of the problem. So we have the power supply. So the user goes like this. I plug it in, and then that happens. So it just slides right past. Push in, and that happens. So it never connects. Oh, that time it did. Yeah. There are those moments when you uh, when they push and then that happens. Once that happens, right, you can't get to it. So we need to find a way to make sure that this stays like that. So when they push that in, that doesn't fail. That's the problem. Alrighty, so I thought about it for a little bit and uh, came up with a brilliant idea. Crazy glue. Let's crazy glue this thing together. I was going to aluminum braze it and I was like, yeah, no. Alright, uh, we have a it's a one shot deal right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and make a choice. Live with it. It's like getting married. Alright, here, here we go. Not really. Unless your match can be resolved, well, dissolved with acetone. All right, so I chose uh, Crazy Glue because, you know, in case you need to remove this later on, acetone is going to be your friend. So I'm thinking a little bit here, a little bit on top, and uh, slide that in like that, and voila, we have ourselves a nice, beautiful relationship, bonded, and obviously able to easily be dissolved with the right... Legal action, also known as a, mm, well, divorce. All right, here we go. Put some there, crazy glue on that. Put some right here on the back of this. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's see. Pop that back. Come on, time's a ticking. All right, go like that. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold. Yeah, that, that worked well. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. Drop a little bit more back there. A little persuasion. A little friendly persuasion. Come on, don't you want to stay? Yeah, I see you do. Okay. You know, I always wondered, does anybody ever have like a prenuptial agreement for a, a twin flame? You know, is that is that is that, I like twin f flame relationships outside of the realm of prenums. You know, I mean, after all, you guys are perfectly met for each other. That's your twin flame. Yeah, the top looks like it stayed pretty well. I'm not sure about this bottom part. I'm going to just hold on to that there for a second or two. Let's get ourselves a better bond. And I hope you can see this. In its glory. Mm. All right, so it looks like the top is definitely what happened. Where it's happening, right here, that's definitely the place to be. Um, this bottom doesn't look like it wants to be glued in. 
All right, I'm gonna leave that alone. Right. See how much time this needs to cure. Hmm. All right, great. No cure time written. Anyway, so we know that uh, this is not gonna stay. Uh, this top part stayed pretty well. And um, I think we should test it. What do you think? Yeah, let's test it. Power adapter. Yeah, that thing is so all over the place still. Oh man, close but no scholarship. How about that? All right, ladies. Great. Uh, plan D. All right, moving on. Now it's obvious I don't take bondage serious enough. Well, second time around. Squeeze it really, really tight. Lots of glue. And I mean lots of glue. Squeeze, hold, and it looks pretty solid to me. Um, what do you think? Let's test it and see what happens. Mm hmm. All right. We've got no play. And <laughs> that's a good play. That's the play we want. Perfect. Yeah, see that? Nothing's moving. Okay, that's what we want. Now we can move on. We're in the reverse stage. We're gonna put it back together. Right, we're gonna get some stuff off of this motherboard and put it onto there. Um, let's start with this fan and heat sink. See a spring, okay. Yeah. Yeah, springs get launched across the room all the time. Once that happens, forget it. You're not getting that back. Thought he was gonna give you a better view and I'm block obfuscating your view. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Plug that in. Okay. I get this out. that off. Just clips. Yeah. Alright. So now just unclips on the side. Make sure just pull out. Okay. Sit that 
down. I think I got it. Okay. That's the memory. I need to get this card out of there. going to be the Wi-Fi card. I feel pretty sure about that. Okay, so we have that Wi-Fi card in place. Um, fans in place. I'm going to keep this battery. Um, okay, let's flip this over. There's not anything special on this side. Nothing but a unbroken keyboard tab. That's great. All right, uh, let's move on. We are going to uh, put this motherboard into the actual computer itself. So exciting. Supply. Make sure these little tabs are up and out of the way. Come on. All right, good. Power supplies in. Let's get that snaked around there. Okay. I'm gonna make sure all this is seated properly. Hmm. Okay, now we're all holes are all lined up. Okay, so we have tabs remember they lift up don't go breaking them like I did it slides under like that in like that. Push that glues down like this. Let's take this here, this tape, and uh, we're gonna put the tape back. Fan like that. All right, did we get everything up? Oh, gonna get some visual. Mm -hmm. 
dicey there, you know. Push, but not too hard. Make sure it's all lined up too. Cool. It's not for the faint hearted, I tell you. Okay, that's a good sign. That's properly seated. Alright, so. Am I missing anything yet? No, that's in. Power supply is good. Power supply is stable. Um, as in stable as in not going to move today. Um, that's good. That's good. That's in. Okay. Should... Yep. All right. So there's a screw right here. holding the motherboard on. Okay. Moving right along before this causes any resentment. Out of confusion, obviously. Uh, so we have a DVD drive, and this would be considered a super drive. Because it does more than just DVD. I'll put that in. Okay. Right, that's the old keyboard. And, uh, hmm. All right, so we got to place all this stuff. Power. This is the power switch. Okay, so let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this plug here, I've got to be careful of this one. I remember this. It has to go into that. That's what I think, anyway. Hmm. Ah, uh, the feeling of uncertainty. It's so pronounced. Does that look like that belongs there? Or not? What am I missing? Okay. Sorry. Okay, I am confused about this here. And that goes to uh, probably something I don't know. All right, great. Um, hmm. I see a plug here, but it doesn't look like the same size. Right. Does, that, does that not get plugged in? What are the chances I just threw something extra in there just for fun? Probably unlikely. So at this point, I'm a little confused. What are we looking at? We have one, okay. one, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. Yeah. And over here we see one, two, three. Is there a fourth? One second. Gonna look at the old motherboard. Here we go. Here's the old motherboard. And that right there, oh, this, uh, make sure you can see what I'm doing. 
Let me zoom down a little more. What do you think? Yeah, that's right there. See if I can manage to keep everything on frame. All right. Okay, this here is that. I think that this plugs into that. I think this plugged into this. pieces you just don't want to break. It does have a little bit of a. It's keyed in some way. Not sure if it matters. What's up or down? Most likely the clear plastic parts like that. See this flat part here? Where there are. See, I have like some exposed parts at the bottom here. I'm gonna. Th I'm gonna wager that. This plastic plastic part right here sits upwards like this. That's what I think. <laughs> oh yeah, that's working all right. If I go like this, on the other hand, yeah, that slides better. Okay, never mind. I'm totally wrong. Yeah, let's see what's happening. All right, so I think that that just broke off. And this red part is up top, like that. Yeah, there you go. That's supposed to have a wire connected to it. Can you see that? So let's get that out of there, because that's a part of that. Man, these little things are tricky to work on. The moment you wish you had a dental dental pick set. Yeah, that's gotta get one of those. <sighs> Almost there, come on. So right now, I don't want to damage the motherboard. So. Well, that should come out, right? What do you think? I think... I think I gotta keep going. Put up a fight. A really bad fight too. Come on, let's go. Come on out. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, almost. Come on. All right. We did it. You saw it happened. Okay. Now well, that makes more sense. Okay. So this. red part goes up top like that. 
as you saw. This is the surprise. This is the surprise uh, wire. Yeah, you know, you're doing everything, and you're just like, oh man. You pull, and you're like, oh boy, I just ripped that thing right out. Okay, that's it. Okay. Here we go. It just wants to put itself back together. That's awesome. Yep. Slide that down, push that down. There should be uh, that's another tab or something. <laughs> uh, probably this. Wait, can you see that? It's a little too much. Sorry. Let's back it off a little. Oh. Can be a little blurry at times. Okay, great. Just check it. Okay, this goes here. So I have a weird feeling I'm going to end up with uh, some extra screws. Not to say I need any screws, because, you know, I've got all my screws. Alright, come on. I'm only talking to a camera as if there's someone else there. Totally have all my screws. Okay, that's there, that's that. Um, okay, so I think I should be able to seat this down, right? Yeah. Okay. See, at this point, usually what you want to do, you want to test things, you know? Um, I'm not going to test anything. I feel really good about what we're doing. I'm going to keep on moving. So we have a screw that sits right here. Now, Let's zoom into that just a little bit more so you can see right there. Yeah. I don't think we get a good shot of that. That. Come on, focus. Come on. Put down the bear. All right, good. Now we're focused. Okay, this needs to be removed if you're going to get this off. Uh, so save yourself the fight like I was. Um, so it was a medium length. So again, this is the medium length size. Out of all the screws that come out of here, we're gonna. This is probably the only one that's uh, that's this size. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, we got a new keyboard. Place that in there. All right, let's do it. That's my new shiny keyboard. And this is the part number for you. So if you uh, need to find it. Oh, look, it's made in China. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, great. Um, oh, yeah, let me read this to you. Case. Okay, it's a G672-K0700017, and that's my keyboard. Um, I don't know if that number will give you anything, but I hope it does. I don't think that's a good part number, but what I'll do, I'll, I'll give it to you at some other time, later on, uh, as a description. All right, so here's our keyboard. Um, we want to... Place this 
here without breaking it. And so that goes up. Sorry, that looks about right. I wonder if there's a right orientation for this, you know. <laughs> we'll find out, right? I start typing, everything's backwards. It's like, oh god, I think I messed up. Alright, um, let's see. Okay, great. Oh, we're doing good. Okay, so we need to get uh, some of the back. We have all the good stuff now on the back. back this wire here easily accessible wire here is for the radio for this so that's gonna sit can you see that all right so again here we go we have that and that sits in that little slot right there. At least that's what I think. Yeah, it's supposed to sit right in here. Okay, so let's push that down, get that out of the way. Get it nice and flat. Okay. I believe that just by powers the uh, Wi-Fi card. Looking good. All right, so we have a motherboard now that needs to go in. Okay. Betcha that slides in like that. Yeah. Good. Now we have to start screwing these parts down. All right, my problem is, right, I have a couple smaller screws. We have one, two, three, four. Four small screws. And I don't know where they go. Yeah, I don't. All right, you know, do the ones that you think is going to be... That's going to be the easiest, so let's see, yeah, let's do the long ones on the side, I think. Those are a dead giveaway, right? What do you think? You agree? Dead giveaway? I knew you'd agree. Yeah. Just talking to myself. No screws are missing over here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do this before my battery dies. And these are the longer screws, just remember that. The medium length screw held the um, motherboard on.
that's one there. Hopefully that's a longer one. Okay. Two, four, six screws left over. So another screw there. Yeah, that didn't do anything. All right. Um, let's see what we got. What are we thinking? Is there like some screws on the side? This was ah, bet you that needed some screws. Yes, good. I forgot. Nice. All right, there's three on the back here. One, two, three. That makes sense. There's another one there. Four. Okay, that means I think this needs a screw. Yeah, good. Gonna take it all apart again. So I thought I was going to have to pull this whole thing apart again, right? Uh, look right here. See that? Let me see right here. I think those are where those smaller screws are. I feel like I'm playing the game Operation. Remember that? Well. Okay, I'm pretending I played it. I never played it. It just feels like what it would feel like if I played it. Great. I'm glad you're with me. All right, looking good. And that there, that there. One, two, three, four. All right, four screws left over. Not a bad deal. Okay, that's in. Okay, I think there's a screw here, but I cannot get that thing to stay there whatsoever. Okay, we have a... Uh... Oh no, rats. Okay, take this back off. Wait, you know why? I remember this. Right here. Yeah, right here. Pay attention to that. That has... That has three screws, and I think those are the little ones. One, two, three. Oh boy. Maybe those are the three. Maybe that gets a regular longer one. I'm not sure. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Doesn't look right to me. Yeah, it doesn't look right at all. That's too long. And it won't fit. Okay. So one of these I'm gonna have to put right here. Can you see that? Okay. No, I'm <laughs> yeah. How about we, how about we slide the DVD drive in first? Great. I swear. I got this. I've done this before. I'm professional. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Where else would you try it? Okay. Alright. That's in. What are we thinking? Uh, we have a back. Uh, yeah. Like this. Okay. I have two screws left over. I'm a little concerned. That's not good. Alright. We'll think about it for a second. Alright, not the worst thing in the world. I uh, hope you don't hate me. I can't find where these last two screws go. And I'm definitely missing a smaller screw that must have fell. Oh, it was, uh, you know, there's three here. 
and I have to take one of those and place right there. So I know that's a screw, but that doesn't want to go in. There's nothing there for me to bite onto. So one of the screws would go there. Uh, so this is gonna, gonna close this up. Call it a quits for today. Call it a good job too while we're at it. Yeah, it really looks good. Let me put that back on. Oh, it's like a nightmare having the screw left over. It just, just drives you nuts. Losing fasteners, all kinds of annoying. Not a fan. Not a fan. Alright, again, something goes here, but there's nothing to, to screw into. Hey, let, me, let me take this out. Just take a look at it again. Actually, something should go in there. I mean, hey, hang on one second. Now the shadows. Come on. Oh yeah, that's working. Yeah, okay. You know what? It's gonna leave good enough as it is. Yeah. All right, so that's there, that's there. We have that. Missing the screw there because it won't bite anything. That's there. These four on the bottom. That's in, that's in. Okay, the three here, so. Why do we have an extra one? Hmm, not sure. Not sure at all. What do you think? What did I miss? Well, anyway, I think we did a good job. Let's move on. We know one skirt needs to have a home and the other one, well, let's leave that alone. Keep that between us, shall we? All right, we're going to test it. Give it a shot. So I want to show you a little something here. This is what we repaired today. Um, hopefully you can see it. That needs to look like that. And it was, uh, it fell off. Uh, what happened was uh, the person that was pushing in the power supply pushed it in too hard. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. And we'll power this up. All right. See what happens. Hopefully, 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 hopefully it will power up. That's the plan, or <laughs> not really a plan, more like an, a desire, an aspiration, presumption. You name it. That in, make sure there's no play. Yep, looks good. All right, what do you think? Oh man, okay. that's a good sign. Here, a fan blowing. Okay. Not sure if that's a good sign or not, but I'll give it a second or two. So I changed the hardware. I don't know if that causes it to freak out a bit, you know? Like the motherboard's expecting something from the operating system. The operating system, well, I'm sure, sorry. More like the operating system has different expectations. And the hardware itself is uh, agnostic. It's really indifferent. 
I do know that the uh, hard drive is the, the operating system is going crazy because it's a uh, the lights flashing quite excessively and uh, I'm unsure what it's trying to do so I'll leave it alone let's just watch it for a little bit I'm more of a Linux user so I don't know what Microsoft Windows that stuff is uh, confusing to me I used to be a fan. Last Windows I used was uh, Windows 2000. That was that was a good one. That was joyful. That was the money. What about you? What was less? Well, I don't know. You probably still use Windows. What was your favorite Windows operating system? If you're not a Mac user or a Linux user like myself, probably Unix would be more accurate. Yeah. Just watching that thing spin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this video off, and then uh, we'll see what happens. I'll turn it back on when something interesting occurs, okay? Great. That's a good sign. That happened. Um, I'm not sure if the keyboard is functional yet. It's, uh, there's no mouse anywhere on the screen, so I don't think it's a technical thing, but... All right, good. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, again, I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. I feel like we're watching water boil. All right, we have a desktop, which is a good sign. Um, let's see if the Wi-Fi card's open. Uh, available, I meant, sorry. Yes, no. Let's check the uh, keyboard, see if that's working. And action. Boy, this thing is super slow. Wow, how did I use this thing? Yeah, that's not working. Oops. Let's close that. I don't know, the keyboard, I think that actually did work. Sorry, it's just so slow. Okay, that does work. Okay. Well, we know the keyboard works because I just typed note. So that is good. Let's see. Can you read that? It's just for you. <laughs> is that illegible? Perfect. Great. Um, so we know the keyboard works. And uh, my only other issue now is the uh, Wi-Fi card. So let me close this error. Great. Come on. Sometime today. All right, great. We have... Okay, Wi-Fi does work. It picks up stuff, which is good. All right, we're good. Let's just call it a quits. Uh, we have done it. Power supply is back. Everything works well, and uh, that's it. Hey, listen, 
I hope you like this uh, video. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and thumbs up and uh, go ahead and subscribe and like below. Okay? It was fun hanging out with you. Hope you enjoyed another episode of this damn house. All right, great. Hey, um, go ahead and, you know, share this with your friends and family. And also, uh, if you get a chance, uh, you can donate your awful, I mean, I'm sorry, awesome insights into like other going, other things you could have done better. Uh, and also any, um, tips and tricks. Yeah. Which is also a part of what, well, maybe that's a little redundant, but anyway, Hey, listen, I had a good time hanging out with you. And if you feel compelled to, uh, share some of your, um, some, get me something from off my wish list or some tool that you think I could use, go ahead and send it to me. All right. Great. Thanks again. And uh, it was fun working with you. I hope you liked this video and I hope that it was, it uh, solves something for you. All right. Bye. Totally forgot to mention this. If for some reason you want to get this keyboard, which is totally functional, just, uh, you know, keys missing or this motherboard, you know, it's going to be a little hard to plug a keyboard onto it. Cause you know why I broke off the tab. I'm going to have these for about, Let's see, until uh, the end of May of 2019. At that point, I'll throw them away. Okay? Send me a message, and you can have those for free. Oh, well, whatever the cost to ship. Okay? Have a great day.